Hi, folks. This is Richard Ricky Garcia. And as part of our effort for the Skywriters Making a Difference campaign, I thought it'd be fun to reminisce, record, and share stories from our drum corps days. I'm joined by Jay Smith, who marked Skywriters 1981 and 1983. Jay is also spearheading the restart of the Skywriters. Jay, tell us a little bit about that. How did you get started? You know, um, I have a photo album of just Skywriter stuff, which I visit several times a year just because it meant so much to me. And my current occupation as the president of a theological seminary in Montana provides me an opportunity uh, to travel a bit. And so, uh, as a matter of fact, all of the faculty at, at my school, at our school, travel. Uh, they go to their home areas and they recruit and speak and that kind of stuff. So my home area is really um, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and some Texas. Every fall, I would go and fly into Tulsa, rent a car, and I spoke at, you know, six or seven different places. Um, University of Tulsa, uh, gosh, uh, University of Arkansas, uh, Southwest Baptist Missouri, uh, Southwest Baptist University of Missouri, um, Kansas State, hmm. uh, at one of the places, one of their uh, ministry points there, and the Sterling College. Sterling College is 20 miles outside of Hutchinson and they don't have hotels. So I would always drive into Hutchinson to recruit. And every time I drove into Hutchinson, it was like walking down memory lane. Yeah. Um, seeing places that I knew and lamenting places that were now gone. Uh, seeing uh, the fine arts center at Hutch Juco or community college now on our old practice field. And, uh, seeing how Gowan Stadium wasn't the rickety board thing that it was <laughs> when we were there, but rather this really fine, nice stadium. Yeah, it's impressive. And so in in uh, 2019, during my tour down there, I just had a a thought, and the thought was, I you know I had been reconnecting with friends at DCI in uh, Indianapolis the last few years, and it was such a shame to me that Kansas no longer had a drum corps at all, any drum corps from seven to none in a, you know, a span of five or six years. Wow. And my thought originally was, well, I know it's expensive. I know that, that it can be prohibitive. I know it costs too much. How can, how can we do this? And my first thought was, well, we would partner with junior college, the community college and a number of other organizations in the area. We might be able to do this. Uh, COVID comes along, and um, of course, I don't. I don't tour the next year, or in in 2020, do my thing. So 2021 is the next time I can go down. And I actually, because I'm in a position now where I have to have uh, gumption, I just emailed the president of the community college. Said uh, I'd like to make a proposal to you. And much to my amazement, he said, yeah, let's talk. So we did. And that was the first step in me realizing that this could actually work. And at that, at that point, uh, we had to sit down and talk. He said, you know, get me a pro forma. You know, let's talk about this. I gave uh, our mutual friend Steve Vickers a call. He's an old skywriter. Met my friend Craig Cauldron for lunch in Austin, Texas, when I was in Texas doing a recruiting thing. And I was just amazed at the people who were like I was, uh, wanting for young men and women to have the same experiences that we had, uh, to bring back in some way, shape, or form a drum corps that was beloved, that was entertaining, that was... Uh, not just excellence driven, not just driven to, you know, be in finals and to move up every year, but one that was there to perform for the audience, just to give it everything. And that drove me. And so uh, it progressed from there. And, and that was in, in fall of 2021. 20, and then in 22, um, I talked to Dr. File several times about this and started talking to other people. We got Dale, uh, Steve had me get Dale Antoine involved. Mm. 
and I didn't know Dale well because he wasn't around our years, um, but I got to know him really well. Uh, reconnected with my old fr good friend Lori Storm Hall, and uh, just it, the 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 velocity was there. There was wow. people who wanted this. Uh, talk to to you, I think, in twenty two yep. for the first time after we started doing our our tours, and uh, kept this dialogue going with, with HCC. Uh, started developing things and then we get to the later part of 22 and we form our board skyriders performing arts foundation that we were under no illusion this is going to take money it's going to take time uh, even if we have a partnership with the community college you know that's not enough there has to be literally statewide support and so we started to look for statewide support and in 2022, we started getting that. As it ends up, the kids in Kansas who love drum corps went to Blue Knights or Troopers or Colts. Uh, and they came back and they're all teaching now in Kansas, but there's nothing there still for their kids. They had to send them away. And they were excited about, oh my gosh, we could get the Skyriders back here. Uh, that's what we're thinking. And so we started very intentionally, slowly pushing our way through. As you know, Rich, I went out to California. You were able to set up a couple of appointments for me. Uh, met Jeff DeMello via Zoom with the Blue Devils. I uh, met Jeremy Van Wert uh, with, with Santa Clara. And it was just a wonderful eye-opening experience of, of doing, doing our homework you know, do, doing what we had to do to make sure that we were on the right track, that we knew how it could go. And so in, in 2023, this past year, uh, we got our nonprofit status. Uh, we have a, a board of seven. We have several uh, Skyrider alums who are consultants with us. Uh, Eric Scheffler, Kevin Wickliffe, uh, Michael Gilbert, uh, who've done a fantastic job in support. We have a, a larger uh, Skyriders Performing Arts Foundation team, which includes not only Skyrider alums, but people who just love the Skyriders, who never actually saw them except on videotape and said, we want to help. And it just, it grew. And uh, the first big outing we had was in, and really in June, we went public with Skyriders Performing Arts, as you know. And in July, uh, Dale Antoine had been able to talk to Pat Seidling and get the Blue Devils to come to Hutchinson for a day for clinics during the day. And then uh, during the night, essentially, we opened the stands and said, come see the Blue Devils. Uh, our expectations, quite honestly, were exceedingly low. <laughs> we were hoping if we could get, you know, 30 or 40 kids, that would be awesome. Um, if we could, uh, you know, get a, get those kids plus maybe another 100 people, we'd be excited about that. And uh, considering the heat, uh, our we had an expectation of diminishing returns at that point. <laughs> yeah. But what happened was we had almost 200 kids show up for the clinics. It was impressive. I was there. And then we had that evening over 800 people in the stands yeah. to watch two hours, essentially, of, and one run through of a rehearsal. <laughs> and people came by and do started donating before we were really asking for donations. Um, but it, the cat was out of the bag at that point. And I was incredibly um, just excited that it was taking off. It was flat out taking off. Um, and, you know, all of us, it, the, the excitement has just built uh, and it continues to go. The people who are getting involved, um, Skyrider alums from all all across really the globe, but especially America, so uh, uh, just supportive all the way, and uh, the support is is taken um, uh, monetary proportions. Of course, that's going to always be the lifeblood of any nonprofit is donations, and we need our alumni support us and our friends to support us. Um, that's that's huge, uh, and we need that. The other thing that's been interesting to me is the drum corps community as a whole. Not only do they remember Skyriders, especially of George and Dale's era, they remember what a joy it was, and they would love to see Skyriders come back. 
Um, and so we've had people donate who are not skywriters. That's been wonderful. Um, I've talked to younger adults who grew up on DVDs of the Skyriders. <laughs> oh, my band director marched in the Skyriders. We got to get this, you know. So the the, the energy, uh, the momentum, velocity is is there, and but it's that if that's we're at that point in time where we want our alumni to be involved. We want them to be involved by you know financially helping support the cause. We want them to be involved by uh, their their connections in the industries. And we want them to be involved simply because we're doing something for students today that we experienced and it's worth its weight in gold uh, for them to have that experience and for it to, to focus their lives the way it did ours. Um, this next uh, spring is dedicated to several things. One is we're having a slew of clinics. Um, I, gosh, at least 10 clinics throughout the spring um, that will be percussion and winds and guard. Our alums have gotten on board. Mary uh, Searcy Price is heading up our, our guard coordination events. Eric Scheffler heading up percussion events. Um, it's it's incredible, the outpouring, which is going to end with the first drum corps show in Hutchinson in a number of years. Um, it's going to be marvelous. And we're going to have drum corps for a day that day. So we'll actually put the kids, the students, and Skyriders t-shirts, and they're going to play for us uh, as a prelude to the show. So it's an exciting time. We just want our friends and alum, alumni friends to join us because we're all, we're all a part of this bigger family that is the Skyriders. Yeah, uh, that's, that's incredible. I I um I was there in on yeah. July on July, um, and, and and it was impressive. It 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 really was. Uh, just to to have all of that uh, out out there, and and you know what what I really like, uh, I was discussing this with Eric Scheffler, is the approach. It, it's it's a small approach. It, it, it's going to be slow no matter what. That's just, oh, yeah. that's just the nature of the beast. But what I really like is that it's starting out slow. You know, a drum line first, uh, a, a color guard first. I, I I've through the grapevine. I've I've heard comments. Like, you know, they need to be doing this. They need to be doing that. So, so they could get a core that that's in the top 12. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, <laughs> that, that's not going to happen. It, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It, that's it, it. It's, it's a great, it's just, the, it's just not the reality. So I, I love the approach that, that, that you're taking also teaming up with, uh, uh, uh the local community college, uh, you know, seeing how they can be supportive in all this. And, and I, w w the reason I'm excited about it is because there's a model for this. Oh, yes. And it works. It's, it's been working for the last almost 10 years. And that's Bakersfield Community oh. College. Oh, I, yeah. I, I wrote an article, uh, I, I write for Drum Corps World, and I wrote an article on them. And they have, they have been using this very model that you're that that uh, you're spearheading for 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 the restart of the Skyriders, and it's been enormously successful. Um, and and so this is why I have high confidence that this is going to work, oh. because because there's a there's a model for it already. There's another uh, drum corps I, I can't mention their name at the moment, but they're also following a, a similar model, and it makes me think that this may be the model of the future, which is to to hook up with a local institution of higher learning and 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 you know actually have a class that that's drumline 101 yeah. drum, and, drum and bugle corps one in 101 color guard 101 and and in, in order to participate that is how they uh that is, that is how they would become members uh, they would have to enroll into the junior college and, and 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 junior colleges want enrollment so everybody wins in something like that and and by the way i'm, I'm not for, for those listening, I'm not suggesting that that that's exactly how the Skywriters is going to work. That that's that that is that's what the Bakersfield, uh, uh, the drum corps is called Golden Empire Drum and yes. and and they've been able to sustain themselves for for about ten years, um, and it's it's impressive and it works. Um, go ahead. No, the the reality here is is there's a bigger picture than just 
competing in, in DCI finals. There, there has to be. The, the economic situation of our time is such that it's become incredibly cost prohibitive. We've seen a couple of top 12 cores uh, get really hurt and hit financially. Um, the cadets dropped out for this summer. The cadets yeah. have been around since 1934. Uh, they finally have dropped out. Um, and that's not all. There's a number of smaller cores, uh, open class, that have have, have uh, hung, hung up their spurs, too. It's just cost prohibitive. So the question for us is, is we believe in this activity. We believe in what it does for kids. And we can we believe what it does for communities. But there is no magic wand. It's hard work, establishing a fantastic uh, base in your community, uh, establishing an economic base uh, around us that it requires not only our alumni to be supportive, but corporations and schools and all of that. Because our desire isn't that we would be a one and done. We would we would go out and, and make open class in three or four years and then not have the money to keep going. Yeah. That's not what we want. We want to have a, a firm foundation. So uh, let, me, let me just end by by saying that everything that I've seen so far uh, it follows a model that, that that already works. It's it's not like you're shooting in the dark. The, right. And 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 uh, I the the idea of starting slow. The, the the idea of a grassroots movement and the idea of 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 uh, getting support from the local institution of higher learning um, the combination of all those things makes me very confident that this is going to work and and I will have to tell you it is breathtakingly exciting it really is I you can't see it but I have but I have chills right right now it is truly breathtakingly exciting. Uh, I, I for, for those who who don't have perhaps the the, the vision that I have in, in, in into what's going on, um, I, I I can tell you it it, it this is going to happen. Uh, it, it it there's a model that works already, and and that's what gives me confidence. And 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 I will I will say one more thing, and I've written I've written about you, uh, the person required to pull this off <laughs> has to be a consummate entrepreneur. Mm. And as one con consummate entrepreneur, entrepreneur to, to another, Jay Smith being the other consummate <laughs> entrepreneur, uh, this is the type of person that you need driving this. B b you know, we, we joked about being cowboys, you know, <laughs> yeah. cowboys from Texas. And, and you actually really do need that. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you need that cowboy from Texas that's going to go in and take risks and hear a lot of noise with people saying this is going to this is not going to work this is not going to work and and just going to be able to filter that out and just say this is the direction we're going it's going to work yeah and 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 that is what what I've learned who you are oh and, man and 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 again yeah thank you for thank you for spearheading this you, it it takes a specific type of personality and and it's a very rare personality trust me i've i've seen it uh, uh and and um Thank you for doing this. Uh, it's going to work, and I'm happy to help. No, well, Rich, we're we're I'm honored. Uh, we we are a team, and you're a huge part of this. And it's exciting to me to not just see the Skyriders come back, but to build this group of alums and friends that share that passion. That's as exciting to me as as seeing kids on the field again. So absolutely, absolutely. Thanks All right, a lot, my Jay. friend. Thanks a lot, Jay, and um, uh, I, I can't wait to see what else is coming down the pipe. All right, my friend. Thank you. Take care.